welcome to the North Pole Workshop. This is Santa Claus and I'm excited to show you the workshop where the elves work and we make all the toys and presents. Here you can see the workshop that was used for the design of the Santa Claus, the movie The Santa Claus. As we go through the workshop, I will point out the different places that movies have used to design their sets to film based on what you see here, the North Pole Workshop. We're on the upper level right now. Down below you can see a workstation of one of the elves. We'll go down below where you can see the workstations and we'll visit the Naughty and Nice Center. I want to thank my elf who is assisting today in photography. Here you can see some of the workstations of the elves. They love to work and make toys and gifts and presents. They're very good at it. They work very hard and they're very quick. They love what they do. We look forward to this time of year the most of all just before Christmas. I gave the elves a bit of a time off so we could do the filming, but they'll be back in the workshop as soon as we're done. Here you can see the Naughty and Nice Center. This is where the records come in from the elves that are down below, down south. The elves in your homes, the elves that are around in your towns and cities and villages, they send back information all through the year but especially before Christmas. And you can see we have all kinds of computers and gadgets that help us gather that information and it gets printed out. And we make the naughty and not nice list. You may also remember in the Santa Claus, there was the Santa Claus 2, the pentameter, which we'll see in a moment. There you see the number of days until Christmas, the big night, Christmas Eve, when we take flight. That's how many days we have. There's the pentameter. You may remember that the elves in the Santa Claus 2 decided to make a copy of me, which did not go very well. This room is used to develop and design toys and presents. You can see some of the areas where the elves work. The pentameter is used then to decide how big or how small to make these gifts. So they're just right, just the right size. We'll head back out into the workshop. We'll head down the hall here, and as we go down, we'll see another elf workstation. And you can see the snow globe from Fred Claus there. Take a look at the teddy bear machine. You hear us talk about this machine. It's a very old machine, and oftentimes we have to repair it. You can see that there are many parts to it old dials and switches and tubes but it keeps on working and you can see we have many teddy bears ready to go to be taken to be wrapped and ready to be delivered if you have a teddy bear on your wish list perhaps one of these teddy bears will be under your tree or in your stocking across the way will find the Hall of Records. Now if you saw the Christmas Chronicle, you'll remember the Hall of Records is where we keep the letters from each believer.
you'll see that we have many drawers filled with many, many, many letters and cards that come in with Christmas wishes and dreams. In the center is my work area. You'll see that I have a desk where I can work on flight plans. You'll also see that I have the screens where I can watch and see what's going on. Again, we kind of keep track of who's being naughty and nice. Mrs. Claus left a plate of cookies for me. She's always got cookies. Over here is a copy of the naughty and nice list that I could take a look at. And over here you'll see a nice area where Mrs. Claus and I spend many times enjoying and relaxing the, by the fire, reading a book, listening to Christmas music, just spending time together. The hot cup of cocoa and some of her wonderful Christmas cookies. As we continue our tour, we will look at the part of the workshop that was used to design the workshop in the movie Fred Claus. You may remember in that movie, the elves made hula hoops and baseball bats. And you will see that that is exactly what's being made right now in this area of the workshop. You can see the large tree at the far end the work tables in the middle of the workshop with the conveyor belts where the items can be moved and processed. Of course right now it's very quiet but normally the elves would be in here working away. There'd be music and singing and dancing in a moment, we'll go up to the upper level where DJ Donnie has his studio. Here you can see the large tables in the middle of the workshop. And if you remember Fred dancing on those. The workshop is a very large place. There are many different areas. As time has gone on, we have added to it. Some areas are older than others. We'll take another view down below where you can see again the workshop in this part of the building. And over here on the right, we have DJ Donnie's studio where he broadcasts Christmas music throughout the year as the elves work. Moving down the hallway, in a moment we'll see the snow globe from Fred Claus. And if you remember, at the end of that movie, all of the elves come together to watch the children open their presents on Christmas morning. The elves still like to gather here on Christmas morning to do just that. Watch as you open your gifts.
course, they can't all fit around here at one time, but if you know the way that time works, you're opening gifts around the world for quite a long time, so the elves take turns coming in to watch as you open your presents. Now we'll head back down to the lower level where you'll see again the elf workstations that are from the Santa Claus. And these are stations where the elves enjoy working and making toys and gifts. You'll notice that there are all kinds of presents being made. There's some dolls there and some robots. Over here it looks like we have some instruments being made. The elves when they come back will continue to work and finish these projects and then they'll be sent to be wrapped and stored for loading on the sleigh on Christmas Eve or whenever they're going to be delivered in your part of the world. Here we have a little studio that is used for broadcasting our news and other programming throughout the North Pole. Our newscasters sit here at the desk and they can give news reports. We can also broadcast throughout the world. Here we have a small interview area where elves are interviewed and different programming can happen. And now we'll head down this long hall here toward the Polar Express wrapping room. We do have some magic portals in various places throughout the North Pole that can help us transfer and travel quickly from one place to another. At the end of this hallway is the wrapping room that you'll remember from the Polar Express. You'll see that we have a lot of wrapping paper and ribbon that we use. The gifts come down those long chutes where they are placed on tables. They're placed in the boxes or in the, and made ready and then they're wrapped on the tables, put on the conveyor belt, taken to an area where they're stored until they get loaded on the sleigh for delivery. Now we'll head over to the reindeer barn that is attached to the workshop. We have several areas where the reindeer are kept. This is the barn that's right attached to the workshop. This is where the nine reindeer that pull the sleigh come are kept. You can see they're very excited to see us there. Looks like Dasher there. Prancer. And there's Comet. Holly, our reindeer elf, takes care of the reindeer, makes sure they exercise, are given good food and are ready to go whenever we're ready to fly to deliver gifts or visit south. I know I saw one of the reindeer flying. There's always got to be one that wants to show off. Let's see. Ah, there. Dancer. I knew I saw one that was flying. And over here we have Blitzen.
This room here is where the sleigh is kept. Right now the sleigh is out being used with some of the other reindeer we have here at the North Pole. But here is where the sleigh is kept during the year. I want to thank you for joining us here at the North Pole and joining me on this tour of the North Pole Workshop. Don't forget to write your letter with your wishes and dreams. We here at the North Pole are excited to continue to make toys and presents for believers all around the world. Remember to be nice and spread Christmas cheer all through the year. Oh, thank you for joining us and Merry Christmas.